London is my second favorite place I've been, uh, second only to Africa, which you gotta understand as a black person, you gotta put Africa first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, just to be on the plane when you're from America and know you're on your way to the motherland, the essence, you understand? For the white people here tonight, it would kind of be like if you went to Chelsea, same kind of, <laughs> or Vermont if you're back in the States. Uh, thing is, you get to Africa though, and the African guys wanna be like us. They, they, they try to be like American blacks, they try to talk like us, they're like, what is the dilly, brother? How are you doing? <laughs> are, you, are you representing? I'm also representing as well. <laughs> and, and the thing is, they try to dress hip hop, and they, it's Africa, they don't know. It's like, ooh, close, you know, because cause an African dude would go and buy a brand new FUBU sweatsuit. FUBU, like, yo, yo, FUBU, with dress shoes. And you're like, oh no. <laughs> Utasi, we don't wear wingtips with the fubu. Why would you do that? We don't tuck it in either, Utasi. You might wanna <laughs> take the tie off. I'm serious, take the tie off, Utasi. It's good to get away from the States. It's good to travel. I uh, had a bit of a nasty breakup last year. You know how that is. And I want you guys to know, though, I fought the good fight. You know, I tried to, this girl. I wanted it to work on many levels. I fought the good fight on many levels. Uh, here's one level. My ex-girlfriend is black. Hold your applause. I don't want extra credit. It's okay, you know what I mean? But. Uh, <laughs> I do live in LA, my, you know, I, say, I say to my friends, you know, my girlfriend is black. My friends would all be like, huh, black. You went that way with it. All right. <laughs> I guess it could work. <laughs> a black guy with a black girl. <laughs> you kids with your crazy ideas. Good luck with that one. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with dating outside your race. It's all good. It's, you know, it's like when you date outside your race and then you go back to your race, don't you want to have like a big party? <laughs> right, invite all your family over, let them know you're back on track. <laughs> Like, attention, family, everyone, could you guys gather around, please? Everyone, Uncle Gus, could you stop the electric slide for one second, please? Uncle Gus, I know, it's electric. I realize that, Uncle Gus, please bring it in. <laughs> well, family, I guess you're wondering why I brought you here today. Well, uh, you guys said some things, and uh, I heard those things, and well, family, I give you Laquita. Come on out, girl, meet the family. Come on, Laquita. She's like, hi, family, how y'all doing, family? How y'all doing, family? Notice the booty on Laquita, look at that, huh? <laughs> no flat booty grandkids, that's what I'm talking about. Put my, put my drink on that, go ahead Laquita, I'll talk to you. <laughs> now Laquita, Laquita is a ghetto name, you know, it's one of those stereotypical names, but as a black guy, when you date outside the race and you want to prove to the black woman that you're back, you got to go hard, you got to go strong, you got to go Laquita, is what I'm telling you people, right? <laughs> You can't date a black girl named Kathy from the Burbs who eats organic food and recycles. No, you gotta, if you're in LA, if you're in LA, you gotta go to Compton. You gotta go where the gangs are. You gotta go to Compton. You gotta walk past the Crips. You have to stop, play three games of dominoes with the Crips. <laughs> but let them win. Don't be a hero. Don't be the Crips dominoes. <laughs> and then you have to sea walk to the door and ask for Laquita. Yeah. You're like, is Laquita home? What, what? Can I talk to Laquita, please? <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but this is true for a black guy. A Laquita cancels out two Megans and a Becky. So <laughs> it's a way to get it all back. My mother's on my back. She wants me to give her grandkids. You know, you know how that is. And I tell my mother to relax, because you know, I'm from the hood. People don't think I'm from the hood, but I am. I don't know if I look it, but how do I prove it anyway? What, do I have to stab you to prove I'm from the hood? Just... <laughs> oh, God, yes, OK, you are from the hood. All right. All right, we get it now. We get it. But I'm from a hood situation. So I tell my mother, relax, I'm gonna make you a grandmother at the right age. I, I gotta buffer it, because she had me so young. My mother is only 15 years older than me, is the deal. Yeah, that's a little snug. We can say that, folks, it's, it's snuggy, but it's not all bad. The good thing about having a mother that young is she can never play the back in my day card. Because I was there. Like, you didn't walk uphill both ways, you had a bus pass, what are you talking about? I remember. I used to help her with her homework. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, Ma, you gotta carry the one. How many times I gotta tell you this? It's getting annoying, you gotta carry the one, all right? You don't listen, that's your problem. I actually still remember the day my grandmother sat me and my mother down and told us there was no Santa Claus. And we cried, that was just a, that was a tough day for everybody, I gotta be honest with you. 